Hey Bugs, it's Deborah here from Body Garbage Handmade Soap. And we have made two types of liquid soap paste. One being my personal base recipe. And then the other is the tallow recipe that I made the other day. And we are going to dilute both of those in this video. I'm going to show you how to dilute soap paste. Um, we're going to use this stainless steel milk warmer um, to put our dilution liquid in here. And we also have separate containers um, to put the diluted soap in in or the soap that we're going to dilute in because I don't want to take out too much um, that I don't need at the present moment so what I'm going to do is um, weigh these out weigh out the liquids um, show you exactly what liquids that I'm putting in here what they're used for um, and then in 24 hours we will come back and see how far we've gotten in the dilution rate I wanted to get this just to heat up my water and um, other liquids that I'm going to be using for the dilution process because I didn't want to buy a stainless steel pot and be cooking and I didn't want to use my crock pot um, to cook the soap either I just rather let it sit and do its own thing and let it sit overnight um, you can use a stainless steel pot if you like you can um put your soap paste in it heat up your water and whatever else it is that you're using for your dilution um make sure it comes to a boil turn it off let it sit come back cook it some more crock pot you would turn it on maybe low or um warm depending on how hot your settings get it depends on your um specific crock pot and you would just let that melt out the um that way me i prefer not to have to watch it at all just um put it in a separate container pour the water and stuff on it let it sit break it up let it sit and see um, if I need to add anything else to it so that's what we're going to do today and that's what I'm going to show you I'm going to wash out all of my containers and dry them and we will be right back to start the dilution process open up you open up bitch you won't be me yeah, we should be closer than friends Alrighty, bugs. So we have our clean container right here and our scale. So what you want to do is weigh out, make sure you zero it out, but weigh out the soap paste, the amount that you want to use. And that's going to determine how much um, dilution you need. And I made little notes. You can see them right here. Um, and if you're like me, it's best to do that just to remember your ingredients, um, how much of everything you use, and all of that jazz, how you're going to dilute. This is our soap paste, and this is the uh, cold process. And as you can see, it's really soap paste. Um, so we're just going to measure that out. about eight ounces that one spoonful so this should be a pound a little under you have to keep in mind the size of containers that you're going to be using um, And my hands are clean by the way the size containers that you're going to be using as well as how much um, liquid you're going to need to make the paste how thick or loose you want your soap paste to be so we have about 20 ounces of soap paste right here in our container and what you're going to do is depending on what oils you use to make your paste is how you're going to dilute it mine has a high concentration of olive oil so I'm going to start my dilution rate at a 3 to 1 ratio I still want it to be um, quite on the thick side it may thicken up even more after I neutralize it and add um, 
fragrance to it so we'll see how that goes but we have 20 ounces here so we need um, three times that amount of water and or whatever else you're going to put in there and i'm going to show you why i keep saying and or whatever else and we're going to do the same exact thing with the tallow soap that one is a little thicker of oil so i'm going to do that one at a four to one ratio so however much i weigh out i'm going to need four times the amount of water as i would need paste so we're going to remove our paste okay so because I have 20 ounces of that, I'm going to need 60 ounces of liquid. I did have to switch to a bigger pot before I even started pouring anything. So I need 15 and 15 of each, 15 ounces. So I'm going to do our water first. And this is a stainless steel pot. I'm sorry, 30 and 30. Lord. So we're going to be just under two pounds for each liquid. Okay, and now we're going to go in with our glycerin. I'm just going to zero this out again so I can make sure that my, ugh, my measurement is correct. And glycerin is basically an emollient. Um, it brings more conditioning. Um, for my particular recipe, I start out with a negative um, super fat so that there's nothing left over. And all of the oils have uh, saponified. And that will just you know add back to it so I'm just going to give this a little mix and we're going to heat this up on the stove and once it comes to a boil and it's all together I'm going to pour it in here and let it set overnight All right, bugs, our water and glycerin, which is very heavy, has come to a uh, complete boil. Just gonna switch hands. We're gonna pour this right in here, right over top of our soap paste. And neat fact also, glycerin also acts as a, um, what do you call it a solvent 
so along with like other oils that keep the soap paste clear or will keep the liquid soap clear this will add to it so I'm just gonna break this up the best way that I can and yes this is cold process liquid soap paste and it probably took me maybe about I want to say an hour and a half to two hours to cook this up make sure that you are checking out my blog I will be posting if it's not already on there a um, recipe on how I got my cold process um, liquid soap paste to be basically as hard as it would <coughs> if it were um, a cooked paste and I will leave the instructions for that it won't be my recipe per se but I will um, leave instructions on how I got it this way I will also do a post for um, dilution and the oils and stuff that you can use for it to keep everything clear. So, this one big hunk right here, I'm just trying to chop up. And. I think we're going to let this sit and do its thing and we will check on it tomorrow. I might check on it tonight as well, but I'm going to um, definitely open it back up tomorrow and see what's going on. So we'll come back um, to do the tallow. Alrighty, bug. So we have this is hot. <laughs> Just to keep in mind, we have our container right here. This has our tallow in it. We have an identical container that has our um, regular base recipe of soap paste in there, and that's also liquefying. Always make sure to keep your soap paste and the soap liquid that you're making from the soap paste in airtight containers. I will be adding sticky notes to these to um, just remind me of when I diluted it, what I diluted it with, and at the ratio that I diluted it at. Um, even though I have sticky notes on the paste, that doesn't mean that I did the same thing here. And I may have to switch up things depending on how um, well it melts down and become um, liquefied. So um, I will see you guys back here um, when it is time to neutralize. You will obviously see um, how um, thick it is, how clear it is, and so on with this um, these two particular soap paste. And um, don't forget to follow all the links down below if you're not following me on social medias. If you haven't subscribed to this channel or my other channel, make sure you do that as well. Um, subscribe to my Rumble channels. <laughs> I have four. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the blog as well. Leave me a comment down below. I don't care if you're saying, hey, hashtag uh, body garbage, what's up bugs, whatever. Just leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a like and always share. It helps me out a lot. Love you guys. I will catch you in the next one. And as always, be well and stay blessed. And bye for now. Baby, am I? Wish you'd be closer than friends.